Hi, my name is Brian Thomas. Welcome to Alive in 5. Today we're going to take a look at a website called ScribbleMaps.com. ScribbleMaps is a website that uses Google Earth and Google Maps but allows you to create an overlay in which students can actually scribble, especially if you have an interactive whiteboard. So I'm going to use Geography Alive, our lesson six on the national parks, and I'm going to use Scribble Maps to describe to you the power of this Web 2.0 tool. So enjoy Alive in 5 today on Scribble Maps. On Scribble Maps website, it gives you the capability of bringing up any of the Google Maps that are out there, but you have the capability of being able to draw over them. So in this lesson on the National Parks, students are learning how to use topo maps, but they're also learning about the importance of our National Park System. And in the lesson, the students are grouped in uh, to uh, groups of three or four students, and they have to create an adventure tour through a National Park. Using the topo maps, they have to describe the elevation at different points in the park, and then they have, to, they have to describe what people would see, both the flora, the fauna, and the sites that they would use. But they have to do it in an interesting way that would be enticing as if they were an adventure company, an adventure tour company. So we did a sample tour using uh, scribble maps here and show you just some of the things that you can do. If I click on um, stop number one, for example, and this is in the Grand Canyon National Park, our stop number one would be Hopi Point. And I'm able to be able to put in here an image of what Hopi Point looks like, as well as what people would be doing and what they would see. I did that by embedding that image and then writing those uh, points inside here using the tools that are up here uh, in the upper left-hand corner. You'll see that we have uh, a select tool, um, a hand tool that if I want to be able to move the map around, I can. That's especially beneficial if you've got an interactive whiteboard. I've got a basic eraser tool there. The scribble tool itself that allows me to be able to write onto the uh, image. Um, a line tool, which my only beef with scribble maps is that it uses kilometers, but it's a great math lesson for the students to be able to calculate kilometers into miles, as well as uh, different shape tools, both circle, square, rectangle. Uh, you're able to Zoom in and place point markers uh, wherever you'd like. Just like that. What we're looking at here is the terrain view, which actually gives me the topo information for me to be able to know the um, elevation. But let's say that I wanted to place a marker in Hades Lake. The easiest way to do it is to go up to the tools up here. I'm going to place a marker. Pick the one that I want. How about this star one right here? Place it where I would like it to go. Give my description. Blah, 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 blah. And if I want, I can actually go to Advanced Editing here, and I'm able to do one of two things. I can upload an image um, of the, the item itself, or if I want, I can even upload a YouTube video that would be embedded. And what would happen would be when someone would pass over it, uh, they would be able to zoom in. And that's how I was able to incorporate the image of Hopi Point, as well as the other things. The, the other thing I love about Scribble Maps is that the students can actually create uh, their, their legend over here. Uh, so for whatever markers that they use, they can use those icons and describe what they would be looking at uh, uh, with that. Uh, they're able to place uh, locations in there uh, so that if I wanted to find a particular place, I could type it in. So if I wanted to find Hopi Point, but I didn't have it on here previously, I can type that in. and it will find it for me and it will place it on the map. So again, Scribble Maps is a wonderful website to use geographic information systems with your students. It's especially creative to use it with your interactive whiteboard. Get the kids coming up, be able to move using the hand widget or any of the other tools that are up there and scribble on their maps. So. 
Thank you for coming to Alive in 5 today. We'll be back. You can learn more about TCI and lesson ideas at www.teachtci.com. Fan us on Facebook, follow on Twitter, and see more videos like this one on YouTube channel.